chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we will start with the very basic concepts of algebra my stress will be entirely on fundamentals so even if you don't know anything these lectures are the basic starting point they should help you build up those concepts and i strongly suggest at the outset at the start of this lecture that ncert books especially class 9th mathematics you should consult those books go through whatever has been given there they are the most standard form that is available in india today and in fact 20 years ago the story was the same the ncert books have always been the king of the scene so let us now go to understand the algebraic identities and the basics of algebra this is a variable x this is a variable y z t these letters are used to denote variables lower case letters are used to denote variables in our algebra so if we have an equation of this form x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy then this is called an identity an identity identity means something that will stay true for all values of x for all values of y unless it has been mentioned that this value of x is not allowed for example if an identity is including a reciprocal of x then obviously x not equal to 0 will mean that this is true whatever the identity is it is true for all values of x except this exception these identities you should remember by heart you have to remember them but how do we arrive at this identity let me briefly explain x plus y whole square means x plus y multiplied by x plus y now to open this brackets that is to simplify these this x is first multiplied by this x then it is multiplied by this y and then this y is multiplied by this x and this y is multiplied by this y and after that these terms are collected let us see how we go about it x multiplied by x is x square then to the left of x no sign has been mentioned so it is taken by default to be plus so this plus and this y plus they will still be plus so x into y is xy next you have plus sign and this is also by default plus nothing is mentioned to the left of x so this will be y multiplied by x plus y multiplied by x and then you have this plus and this plus with this y both y have a plus on their left y into y is going to be y square this plus will be there and this is y square next we will collect some like terms this xy and this yx they are like like terms xy and yx are one and the same thing because multiplication is commutative you can multiply 6 by 7 or 7 by 6 the answer always remains the same on similar lines xy is exactly same as yx so we'll combine both of them and we'll write it as x square plus 2xy plus y square these were like terms so we have added them and got two here this is this can be written as x plus y whole square so this is how we usually we have got the uh, elements of this identity how we obtained x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square on the same pattern you can yourself obtain other identities also and uh, let me uh, explain because that's very interesting 
how this identity could be obtained. If we want to obtain this identity x minus y whole square, then this can be uh, done by using this also x minus y multiplied by x minus y and then you open the all the terms that is one way out. But mathematicians usually follow this approach here x plus y whole square is known to us and observation is extremely extremely important. That must be a gift to you, you must have that art. Now this y, this identity x minus y can be obtained from the above identity by replacing y by minus y. So if I change the y to minus y then I will obtain x minus y whole square and on the right side let me see what happens x is not changed so retained 2x y is changed to minus y plus y is changed to minus y this becomes x square now this is plus and minus minus 2xy plus minus y the square of a minus is always same for example you write minus 2 square this will be minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 these minus will become plus and you will get 4 which is same as the square of 2 so in this case we can just write it as y square so this is the second identity that we obtain x minus y whole square is x square minus 2xy plus y square. Similarly let me list a few more identities. This identity we can write it as x square minus y square is equal to x plus y multiplied by x minus y. This is another important identity you can open these and you will find that they ultimately come to x square minus y square only. This you should remember this is a third identity. Then we have another interesting identity x plus a multiplied by x plus b. This we can open also but if you remember that is the best thing remembering of these is important from exam point of view. I won't say ask you to remember each and everything because it is not possible to remember each and everything but some things should at least be in your pocket. I will always ask you to remember the most basic the minimum things. I won't say you remember very complex rules. Try to remember at least these 3, 4, 2 I have already given. Now these identities they are very important. You should remember these along with the other two which I will write here x plus y whole square so that you remember in case you forget. So this is plus y square x minus y whole square minus 2xy plus y square. These four identities for the powers of 2 you will have to remember. Now let us see how we can use these four identities to solve some of the most basic questions. Uh, let us see go one by one. This I have taken from the NCRT book. They say simplify this. Simplify this by using an appropriate formula. You don't have to open these brackets. You have to quickly orally simplify it out. So we know that by observation this is very important that a and minus 3 they are similar. b and 5 is similar. Therefore if we see that we write a equal to minus 3, b equal to 5, then it will fit into our formula. So let us see how we can do. So this formula we know is that this is x square plus sum of these values. Sum of these values is minus 3 plus 5 because a plus b 5 and minus 3 will be added and then you have add the product of these two. Product of minus 3 and 5. The sum of these is included x is here I missed out and the last expression is the product minus 3 into 5. So we get it as x square 5 minus 3 will be plus 2 plus 2x and minus 3 into 5 is minus 15 and this plus it will ultimately go as minus 15. So this is the answer how you can go about simplifying an expression like this by merely using this identity. Another question let us go on to another question the book says how do you multiply these two figures without doing the actual calculation. 
obviously you people know that you can write it as 106 and do all that calculation that is obviously okay sometimes you don't have time to think about these formulas also but anyhow if one has to do this by a shortcut method then a keen observation is required keen observation now 105 and 106 we can see that 105 and 106 can be written as 100 plus 5 multiplied by 100 plus 6. This splitting, this observation is very much required. There are two ways only for this. One is a God gift. The second is to see a number of solved examples. By seeing a number of solved examples, you can develop that. So, here I have made a keen observation that 105 can be split into 100 plus 5, 106 is split into 100 plus 6 and now which formula? The same formula x plus a, x plus b. I will take this as x, this is a, this is x, this is b. So what is the formula? I now, I won't look there. Now I know that it is x square, the square of the first one, add the sum of the other two and multiply multiplication is usually sometimes written as dot in algebra but this dot is in the middle so if you write 6.7 this is 6.7 but if you write 6.7 then it is a product 42 and this is 6.7 slight difference is there then you have to multiply 5 and 6 together as the last expression so 6 multiplied by 5 if I do orally things would have been very very simple for me now square of this brings four zeros this is how much 1100 i'll paste 1100 here and this is 30 paste 30 here and when you total it out you get triple one three zero as the answer in a very very simple way let us take a few more examples from our ncrt books which i treat as god right now the another question which they say is factorize Factorize. The question is factorize. Don't be afraid of this word. You know, when I was a small child in 8th class, I failed in algebra. And this was one of my problem areas. But now I find it very interesting because over the period of time, I was able to develop an understanding. Now he says factorize this. Factorize means that a complex expression is given uh, this a is you can say that x we were having earlier factorize means you have to split it as a product of simpler expressions this is a uh, opened expression you have to show it as a product of a number of simpler expressions to you you have to go to as small place as you can here i already told you observation observation is the word here 49 my brain strikes it says that it is square of 7 7 a whole square simply write it I, I have no idea about this retain it no problem plus 25 again it it strikes my brain that it has to be a square of 5 this pattern matching is very very important for you pattern matching I am saying write it pattern now what is the next thing now i know that there could be a formula and identity that could be of help all are plus so i'll just write it briefly i know of an identity x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square this i know now if i compare the right side of this identity this is the expression and left side we can say is a product of 2x plus y so factors are on the left side I can compare this and this three expressions first 7a this seems I'll try to fit x as 7a and y square 5b whole square I'll try to fit y as 5b let me see how, how much this works now if I see then it is two times the product of x and y the middle term what is the product of these two 35 ab 75 35 ab and multiply by 270 ab it fits perfectly 
So I will try to cast it into that form. So I will write it as 7a whole square plus 2 multiplied by 7a multiplied by 5b and plus 5b whole square. Now this pattern started from this 49. This was my first hint. After that I went to this formula. I had in my mind an identity. Now you, it might not occur to you if you are not very familiar with this. But over a period of time seeing these old examples trying to crack more questions especially that NCRT book questions you should follow very very patiently those questions. x plus y whole square is x square plus 2xy plus y square. Then I came to this 7a square that this can be cast into this form. And after that now I know that it has to be x is 7a plus 5b whole square. So I can say that the factors are 7a plus 5b multiplied by 7a plus 5b. So I have factorized this complicated looking expression into simpler, factor, uh, simpler parts because I, my instinct told me that 49 is 7a I was able to match the patterns. Then 70, I if I do a little bit more practice, I'll be able to see that 7, 5 and 2, they will give me 70. So straight away I could have done that also. Now let us move to another factorization question. He says factorize 25 by 4 x square minus y square by 9. Now we have to factorize this. Now without thinking of any formula, I can see that 5 and 4 are squares of 5 and uh, 25 and 4 are whole squares. So we can write it as 5x by 2 whole square minus y by 3 whole square. So these expressions can be cast into a difference of squares of two quantities, this one and this one. This is whole game of observation. Now next I know that there is an identity x square minus y square is equal to x plus y into x minus y. So obviously in place of x I will have to write 5x by 2 and in place of y I will have to write y by 3 and this means this is a sum of these two. So I will write it as 5x by 2 plus y by 3 multiplied by the difference 5x by 2 minus y by 3. These are the factors of this quantity. Let me now move to identity number 5. Identity number 5. That identity says that x plus y plus z whole square. You don't have to go to 4 terms. Be satisfied that it will be only three terms. So uh, what do we get in this case? The answer in this case is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 x and y plus 2 y and z all pairs symmetrically z and x. So this is the identity that sum of square, that uh, square of x plus y plus z is same as x square plus y square plus z square plus this story. In case you are interested in deriving this, then I, I think you should know how to derive it also because that will help you out. Suppose this has to be derived. Now what is the simpler way? Can you observe that this one can be treated as one term and this as another term? That is I will write it as x plus y plus z whole square. So it is ultimately a sum of two terms squared. That is this is whole thing is y. We know from our first identity that this will be square of the first term plus square of the second term y plus z whole square plus two times the product of the terms that is this one. 
recall the first identity. So now this becomes x square plus y plus z is now again openable because it is sum of two terms squared. So we'll still keep it inside bracket y square plus z square plus 2yz. The formula is now applied to this part and then plus this plus comes here. This is open it 2xy and this 2x will go to z also plus sign is retained plus 2xz. So this becomes I'll just collect these squares together x square plus y square plus z square plus 2yz plus 2xy plus 2xz. So this is that derivation of this identity. I purposely gave this derivation so that you understand pattern matching again. So this identity you should remember as the fifth identity. Let me write two more identities. This is now identity number 6. It says x plus y whole cube. You will have to remember all this. It's better to remember it. x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. So this is the identity number 6 that sum of cubes, uh, so a cube of sum is cube of individual quantities and 3xy in this form. Similarly identity 7. This identity is similar to this above identity only that y is replaced by a minus x cube minus y cube minus 3xy and then x minus y. So basically if it is plus sign all are plus if it is minus then after x all will be minus signs this way you can remember. But don't use these, uh, these stupid tactics for remembering that after this don't. Simply remember it by heart. Because many people they start thinking in stupid ways that this is minus minus we'll remember it like that. Don't go for that. I have never done that and I don't think that's required. Simply remember that this is the formula. Plus x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y. It should be remembered which uh, in Hindi we call ratta. So these are the seven identities with you. And there is a very important identity if you are going for those exams. The eighth identity which you cannot afford. That identity is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. This is equal to x plus y plus z multiplied by x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. These are the eight identities of algebra which you have to remember. Don't go for any ninth identity. Books they give so many identities but all those are derivable from these only. This is the minimum set that you should know. The set as per the NCRT books. So this set you have to remember. Now let us take a few examples on what we have done. And then we'll take a more tougher ones later on. So he says factorize 8x cube plus y cube plus 27z cube minus 18xyz. It has to be factorized. If you don't didn't knew these identities, if you didn't know these identities, then this would have been a very complicated expression. But I am sure that you can surely fit it into one of these identities. If I see this expression pattern matching then I can see that 8x can be written as 2x whole cube. Because 2 cube is 8 this time. Plus y cube plus this is 27 goes with 3 3z whole cube. 
this means my x is similar to 2x, y is similar to y only and z is similar to 3z. Let me put this one also in this form. If I see uh, this pattern, 3 will have to be taken out, isolated, x will be replaced by 2x and y is replaced by y only and z is replaced by 3z. Then what do I see? 3, 2, 6 and 3, 18. It matches, luckily it matches entirely. But in exam it is not likely to match, so some doctoring would be required. But right now we are going for the basics only. 2x cube plus y cube. So this is an identity we already know that it is the eighth identity. So which says that some of the three will be taken first. Which three? 2x plus y plus 3z. This sum will be taken outside and inside square of x which is 2x whole square plus y square plus 3z whole square minus 2x into y minus y into z. Now z is what? 3z. So I will write it as 3z. This x was replaced by 2x and y is taken as such and minus zx minus take it here z is 3z and what is x x is 2x so this another bracket is there so you will have to perform the simplification you should perform it the more you will get speed in this 4x care plus y square plus 9z square minus 2xy minus 3yz minus 6zx. So this is the answer for this. Now after seeing this video you should try to solve these. This oral speed will help you in the exam. So with this I close my lecture on the identities and my future lectures I will take up examination questions and when you see those, you will develop the aptitude to match the patterns. So thank you everybody. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point. For DVD, pen drive, please write an email to me. These videos, they do not require internet. They play offline. There is no problem of buffering. And please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you. Thank you for your support once again.